describing myself is one of the hardest things to do because the way I've always thought of myself is as the sound tracker. I am the sound tracker and there's no way around it. What I do is go to wherever I think a sound might be that would be interesting to hear and perhaps has so far remained unheard and then record it and come back with the sound presented in its environment in a way that I think makes that place unique. A well-recorded nature sound portrait delivers not just a very persuasive piece, but it delivers the truth. There is a deeper way of listening. When you're really listening, you aren't trying to hear what you want to hear, but you're just being there. And you have to trust your instincts. I have 20 or so trips that I take to record. And once I'm out there, I follow whatever my intuitive sense reveals to me. Gosh, if I could get both a passing train and the metal arc together in the same sound portrait, that really expresses everything I want to accomplish in my work, is where you can make a statement that even I don't understand, but somehow it makes sense. I have wanted to quit this job so many times. You know, chase it down, chase it down, but you hang in there and then you get that beautiful recording that makes it all worthwhile.